Okay, so here we are in Fort Myers, Florida. It's uh, the new year, 2016. We have a wonderful patient from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, who is an entrepreneur, MIT graduate, uh, who must have researched me. Hopefully she only found Very the good carefully. stuff. Very Hopefully carefully. you only found the good stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, tell us, your, your, your problem was you had a posterior vitreous detachment. And I've got your video running here right now. But, but what, what, what problems did you have with these opacities in the vitreous? Well, I only had it in one eye, but it was still a significant uh, detriment to my quality of life because it was very distracting having large, like a translucent kelp bed float back and forth every time I moved my eye. And in fact, I think my brain started photoshopping my image so that it looked okay, but in fact, I almost had a couple of car accidents recently looking over my right shoulder and I missed a car right next to my car. So, you know. Oh, and there is, there is your, one of your big opacities there. Uh, just to show that that's actually a Highland Weiss ring type of opacity. See that? Kind of interesting looking. Yeah, and so yeah. if that's in the wrong place at the wrong time, it can cause more than more than a little, dis, you know, annoyance. It be, can become actually a problem when you're driving, I think. And so I was offered the opportunity to have my insurance company pay for a complete vitrectomy of that eye, and uh, looked into that pretty seriously, but chose not to, partly because of the uh, cataracts that often form after that procedure and. Uh, was happy to find that there were a few people out there, like Dr. Geller, who were willing to uh, try something new. And uh, I have to say, I was a little bit nervous. Uh, uh, and uh, given that given that very few people do this and the insurance companies don't pay for it, but I am absolutely sold on the whole process and uh, would recommend to anybody who has uh, 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 a serious uh, floaters to come down and Try it out. Yeah, and I always emphasize to patients that the end result depends on, you know, what the patient's expectations are and what we start with. Floaters can vary from just a little piece of lint that you see against the clear background to something that really uh, obscures an object that you look at. Yours was somewhere in between that. But you have a great smart mind that's working very fast, and it was extremely annoying for you, correct? Well, and it was more than annoying. I had trouble reading, uh, oddly enough, and that's gone away. Good. Uh, for the first time, I needed reading glasses. But even with reading glasses, it, it, something wasn't right, and it was very difficult for me to read, and I read all the time. So uh, that was a big quality of life issue as well. And now. I, I have 20-20 vision, and I don't need any reading glasses. Do you think it improved your visual acuity any? Yes, totally. That, that's, that's something I've heard from patients, and it's very subtle. It might be a contrast sensitivity issue. I, don't, I think uh, it's more than that. It was like a film had been removed from my visual field. Uh, I sat with friends at dinner after the first treatment, and it was like I had suddenly had a veil removed from my vision. I was remarking, you know, the whole time about... How I'm sure it was boring for everybody else, but so, I, <laughs> sure. about how I could see. So, again. so unlike uh, the the inaccurate uh, thoughts of other ophthalmologists who have no experience in this, saying that, well, the laser just breaks it up into little particles, and uh, you'll have more floaters. It's not exactly like that. Of course, it pulverizes the floaters, but we go back. It takes uh, more than one time to really get an effective result. And this is was your what third. Third time. time. And I think, I think uh, at this point, this is enough. We can be chasing our tail forever going after floaters, but uh, there's a point where you have to stop, and that's where judgment comes in. Uh, well, and your ultrasound shows that there's nothing there now, great. And at least in the major part of my eye. So great. Um, great. I hope not to see you again. <laughs> 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 and I thank you for for uh, taking the risks that you have to bring this technology. Yeah, I, uh, to, uh, I enjoy it. doing this. Uh, this is a great way to make a living. It's, it's enjoyable and fun for me. And it's great to have a happy patient and meet interesting people. And you have a stem cell little business that you're going into. And, of course, you're an MIT graduate, so I'm sure it will be successful. Well, so thank you. thank you for being a great patient. Thank you.